Hi guys, it's Joe. I'm back with a paper rosette tutorial. I'm going to show you how I made these rosettes. And they look like this. And then this one I put on my Christmas card. And this one also. Really simple and easy to make. And this rosette is actually composed of two pieces. So there's you make two pieces and then glue them together and it makes one full rosette. So I'm going to show you how I did that. This is about um, a one and a half inch strip that I cut from an old paperback novel that I had lying around. And it's very old because you can tell that the pages have already um, started turning color. So this is about one and a half inch by six and a half to seven inch strip. All I do is start, I just start to pleat the pages like so. And when I pleat the pages, I focus this corner at all times to be in the, in the center. But at the same time, I also want to um, start fanning out the pages to form a half circle. And then I just um, score or crease the pages with my thumb like so. So you can see I'm already kind of fanning it out. Okay, so it's not a complete half circle yet, but you can just move the pages the paper to make that half circle and that should be good and I just get my stapler or your tiny attacher and I staple the center together oh hold on one second the staples that I have in my uh, tiny attacher aren't the Tim Holtz staples so I have to kind of bang it a little bit to nudge it forward but so that's a half circle right there and then I'll do my other strip again. Just start pleating and fanning the pages to make that half circle. and then just play with the pages or the paper I keep on saying pages okay let's staple this mm -hmm. sorry <laughs> that gets a little annoying but the staples that are in there are a little bit longer than the Tim Holtz staples so it's able to actually um, staple through thicker ribbon or paper so anyway so that's what I have and you can get your scissors to um, kind of trim it to where it forms that half circle so it looks like that and um, the great thing about this is if you're um, making these they're already in the half circle form so it'd be cool you can do it on the layout you can lay them out and make like a cute little banner and then put the met, um, any embellishments in the center so it can make a cute banner like that. Otherwise, you can just glue them together. Let's see. Mm. Like so. So I just put glue in the center with my hot glue gun. And you could put some at the sides too. And it's okay that this little um, seam, I guess you could call it, shows because you're usually most likely just going to cover it with a, some kind of embellishment like I did here. You can barely see it because I put a ribbon and um, a flower in the center. And this one I sprayed with my Moon Shadow Mist Golden Doubloons 
and it has this really really pretty um, gold shimmer to it this one I sprayed with my moon shadow mist and this is the long john silver you can see that so that's how I make the rosette um, you could spray it with any of your sprays and the largest I would go is two inch which I did here and this one I sprayed with a uh, creme creme brulee cream and then I inked the edges with uh, walnut stain and um, you can go smaller than the one and a half inch but I would start with one and a half inch strip and then once I form the paper rosette I just get uh, scissors or my decorative inch scissors and I just trim the um, excess off to make a smaller version of the paper rosette. You can layer them and like I said you could put them on your layout and make a cute little banner or so but that's how I make my rosettes and I hope you guys learned something and um, we'll try it out. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.